Hello students, welcome back. We are now will be calculating the final average which is mod. Uh, so let's get started. Okay. All right. So a mod is actually the most repeated value in a set of data. Okay. So or we can say that uh, a mod is that value which has a maximum frequency than other in its neighborhood. Now they're talking about two cases. Let's suppose the in case one in random observations, if you're talking about the most repeated value, so any value which is repeated the most will be the mod. And for simple frequency distribution, the frequency, all right, the observation whose frequency is the highest is the mod. Okay, so that is how you calculate mods or that is the that is mod that the most repeated value in a set of data and a distribution may have one or two mods. Okay, so it depends that if a distribution has one mod, it's called unimodal and if the distribution has two mods, it's called bimodal. That means that let's say that there are two values which are repeated twice in a data. Okay, so both these values are mod and this type of system is called unimodal. Sorry, this type of system is called bimodal because there are two mods. Okay, and if there is only one value which is repeated the most, so we call it a unimodal system. So let's just look at the formula first. Okay, for ungroup uh, data, the the formula or you can say uh, the value is the most repeated value in a given set of data is mod and same applies in simple frequency distribution as well that is for simple frequency distribution we're going to look for uh, the frequency okay we're going to look that which frequency which uh, observation actually has the highest frequency and that observation is the mod okay for, so for ungrouped data the most repeated value in a given set is mod okay and for simple uh, frequency distribution the observation that has the highest frequency is the mod and for grouped frequency distribution okay so mod okay so, so the mod So for grouped distribution, mod is equals to L plus FM minus F1 divided by 2 FM minus F1 minus F2 into H. Now this is actually the symbolical representation of mod that is X cap. Now L out here represents the lower boundary of model class. FM represents the maximum frequency or you can say frequency of the model class f1 represents frequency preceding to model class f2 represents frequency following the model class and h is the height all right so these are the things that we need we required when we are solving mod so let's get started all right so for ungrouped data it says find mod for the following data and these are the observation okay we don't need to organize these da uh, this data we're just going to look for the observation which is repeating the most okay okay now array of data is up to you if you want to add it you can add it but if you don't want to add it you just just look for the observations which are repeating and are there any observation which is repeating once or twice or you know you have to look for it so in this value in this uh, um, example actually if I see 11 is repeated three times so the most repeated value is 11 so 11 is the mod all right so therefore mod is equals to 11 so array of data is optional in this case if you want to array the data you can array it if you don't want to array the data just look for the observations which is repeated the most and that observation will be the mod okay so second is the example says determine mod of the following data okay so th it's two five five six seven seven eight 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 and nine now out here you can see that five and eight are most repeated values five is appearing three times and eight is also appearing three times so these two values are the mod which is five and eight and this type of system is called bimodal by because there are two mods in this data 
okay so the distribution said to be bimodal so this is how you um, find out mod for ungrouped data now we're going to look for mod from simple frequency table okay so find mod from this following data so the mod for the following data now the data is this is the my observation and these are the frequency as i told you that if we have a table okay a distribution a simple frequency distribution or a, a tabular form of data so what we are going to do is we're going to look that which observation has the highest frequency the observation that has the highest frequency will be the mod so if you look at it in this case 22 is the highest frequency right and it is the frequency of 6 of observation 6 so the mod will be the value with highest frequency that is 6 since the mod highest frequency is 22 and the observation corresponding to 22 is 6 so our mod is 6 so I hope you have understood that how to calculate mod from simple frequency distribution. So mod from random data and simple frequency distribution is easy. You just look for the highest value or the most repeated value in a data, not highest, uh, but most repeated value in a data in an, for an ungrouped uh, distribution. And for a simple frequency table, we're going to look for the frequency all right or we're going to look for the observation that has the highest frequency that will be the mod okay so moving on towards the group data calculate mod for the following data now this is the data and we need to calculate mod for this data all right in order to calculate mod of the above data we must find class boundaries all right also since the third class has the highest frequency therefore it is a model class okay so in order to find out in order to f uh, you know just start formulating it in order to put values and find out using formula and find out the value of mod we first need to know that what is a model class and to find out that what is a model class we're going to look for the class that has the highest frequency in this case if you look the third class that is first second and third this class has the highest frequency which is 11 so this is my model class all right okay now i've made a call i've made a column of class boundaries because according to the formulas we need class boundaries as well and this is my fm that is if you look at it the frequency okay fm is this frequency the highest model class frequency or the highest frequency maximum frequency f1 is the frequency preceding to model class which is 6 and f2 is the frequency following the model class which is 4 all right so that is how you find out the three values which are asked in the formula that is l f1 fm f2 and h is the height so in this case height is 3 so 8 minus 3 is 8 minus 5 is 3 so these are all the values that i needed i need the uh, lower boundary of model class which is 7.5 i need a height that is 3 fm is 11 f1 is 6 f2 is 4 now let's just arrange all these values or say let's just put all these values in the formula this is the formula and find out our answer so the mod for um, this distribution the question that has been given to us i've just put all the values in the formula so solved it and the mod is 8.75 all right so for um, frequency grouped frequency distribution what we are going to do is we're going to first look for the model class how we're going to find the model class we're going to look for the class that has the highest frequency that will be a model class okay then we'll require that class that particular class that model class lower boundary we need required uh, the frequency of that class 
we required frequency preceding to model class we required frequency following the model class and we required height all right and after um, you know uh, uh, after taking or finding all these parameters we're going to put all these thing all these uh, terms in the formula and find out a final answer so that is how modus calculated for ungrouped data and uh, we're going to look for the value which is most repeated for simple frequency distribution we're going to look uh, for the observation that has the highest frequency and for the group data we're going to first find out the model class then find out all the frequencies uh, the model class frequency preceding class and following class frequencies uh, following class that is following to model class frequency height and lower boundary of that model class we're gonna put all these values into the formula and then we'll find out a final answer i hope that you have understood how to calculate mod for all three cases thank you so much